been a journey throughout this process, but being able to go out here as well with these guys has been a lot. Charlie talked about just in practice, you know, there's a lot of pressing, and sometimes you want to make sure you have time to go see what was out there. You said you're still learning through this right now. Is that how you feel after one game? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, I think this is probably my 22nd day in pads, you know, running this offense. So just still trying to, you know, perfect the craft every day and um, being able to get better and improve with these guys. Can you talk about what Randall St. Theo was able to do tonight? Was he able to, was it his speed or was it his route? I think it was just everything. Um, you know, this is something that we've been practicing that he's been work, working really hard on to practice, all these guys. So, uh, you know, we come out here and big plays like that happen. It's not like we're surprised because we expect that we practice this. Um, so, you know, just being efficient. There's a lot of things that um, I myself need to work on that I, I already know and I'm going to go and watch film on and to try and improve. Um, I think the same as an offense. A lot of things we need to get better at, but I'm, I'm proud of the, the way we perform. Blake, what does it not mean to you? It's been a lot. Um, it's been a long time coming, a really long time. Like I, I noted the, the journey. Um, it's been a long journey and a process. Um, you know, being able to, to play out there and play with these guys that I truly, truly care about. Um, and, you know, being able to look at the field and, and see my baby. Do you think you found a home? Absolutely, absolutely. When you were named a starter, what was that like for you? Like you said, 22 practices or had. What was that like for you? How were the teammates with you? Uh, it was just time to get going, you know. It was, it was, a competition the whole time, and you know, I, I, if anything, it just made me have to, you know, bring up my playing level even more, just to prepare and get ready for this game. And um, you know, Georgia Tech next week, just keep getting better. Uh, so that was just, you know, another incentive to keep going. How did you, you evaluate your night? Um, I, I think we did well. I think there's a lot of things that we left out on the field that we're going to see in film um, tomorrow and this upcoming week. Uh, but uh, I'm proud of the way the offense performed. But how about you? Oh, uh, I thought I played well. Like I said, there, there's a lot of things that I myself left on the field. Um, uh, just, just you know, peeing in and getting better and learning from this and, and trying to improve. Charlie, you said you get better. Have you ever had these kind of weapons around you like you have here? I've, I've been fortunate to be around a lot of amazing players, um, but you know, some of these guys here, you know, they, they're actually speak for themselves. You know, we saw tonight a lot of these guys. Our, our receivers are dangerous. Our running backs are dangerous. Tight ends. Our old line's been doing really well. So, just being able to be surrounded by these guys who are so talented and. Um, can do amazing things with the football and do things up front. It's it's relieving. Like is this um, is this more? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Every week, I think you know, I want to keep growing and keep getting better. I'm not happy with my performance tonight. When it comes to, uh, I think there's a lot of things I could have done better. Um, with that being said, there was a lot of things that we executed, but not enough. Is this more relief for you tonight? Validation? What what kind of adjective would you put on? Um, I, I wouldn't say it's it's relief. It's just you know preparation and time, meeting an opportunity, and, you know, this is the opportunity that I've been really waiting for, and um, I was really ready for it. Your first touchdown, Elon wasn't even lined up when you snapped the ball. Did you catch that? Uh, yeah, that's part of our tempo offense. You know, that was a lot of a lot of the big plays we got tonight were just because we're going fast and trying to get them before they line up and get set. Have you ever played in the tempo like this anyway? Uh, our high school, my high school was pretty similar. Uh, we were running upwards of, you know, 80, 90 plays of the, a game, so... Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say that's kind of how I you know, grew into um, going into college. You've thrown to these guys a lot in practice, but seeing the game, what kind of weapon is having Mitch Wilcox out there? Oh, it's awesome. Uh, he's a great player. You see tonight, he had a great touchdown. Um, great work ethic, amazing hands, running routes like a receiver, and he can block up front too. He's he's all around perfect tight end, honestly, and he's, he's doing a great job. And uh, I think the time is just beginning for him. When you got a guy like Wilcox and you see him wide open like that, you got to put a little touch on the ball, don't you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It was, you know, the, the safety was lined up a little over him at first, and then he shot out. So I knew we were going to have him. It was just a matter of selling the fake to the running back and just getting him the ball. Anything else, guys? Thank you guys so much.